Cisco umbrella and Cisco AMP thread grid. Let me ask you one question. Are you using this integration to take benefit of the investments that you have already made? If not, then this video is for you. Welcome. My name is Sandeep Yadav. Let me introduce you what, what, what I'm going to cover in today's tutorial. So I'm going to brief you on ThreadGrid, Umbrella, and the integration. So let's get started. What is ThreadGrid? So first, ThreadGrid is an automated malware analysis and threat intelligence tool. It is available in both public and private form factors. The goal of this session is to show you how easily to retrieve and operationalize ThreadGrid's intelligence feeds with minimum configuration and take advantage of blocking the bad domains using Cisco Umbrella. So what are we going to use uh, today? We're going to use Cisco Umbrella Console and Cisco AMP ThreadGrid Cloud Console. In total, there are four main integration types with Cisco AMP ThreadGrid. Uh, this deck, uh, this slide is mainly from DevNet 2164 session, which was done by Ben. So in this tutorial, we are going to focus on the left more bottom left use case, which is related to threat intelligence feeds. I have uh, pasted the entire link to uh, detail link to the article on Cisco Umbrella and Cisco AMP ThreadGrid cloud integration in, in this particular slide. So what do you what would you need to carry out this integration successfully? Right. One, we would need AMP thread grid console because this is from where you're going to copy uh, or either generate the API key. Next, you would need umbrella console because with an admin right, because this is where you're going to go and make some changes on the console and enable a few of the settings. Please note you got to be on umbrella platform package in order to make use of this integration or if you are a new customer on the new packages then the new packages are dns essentials with enforcement api only or it has to be dns advantage or dns sig essentials because they have these apis uh, available so quickly just to touch on how does it work you will have umbrella and you will have cisco amp thread grid or if you are already user user of cisco amp for endpoints and cisco amp for endpoint or you are on cisco amp for endpoint advantage package then you get cisco amp thread grid as well in either the either of the cases cisco amp thread grid is the place where you're going to submit a malicious sample where the analysis happens post analysis and on based on behavioral indicators uh, curated feeds are generated. The samples could either be private or public samples. In either of the cases, uh, Cisco Umbrella will, will uh, pull in both the feeds, right? So Cisco Umbrella is going to use enforcement API to go and talk to Cisco Threat Grid API to pull this threat intelligence, right? Or the curated feeds. As I mentioned, it will be both uh, feeds will be pulled from Cisco and Threat Grid, be it public or private so now let's uh, switch the gear to the demo let's look uh, what we will be able to to do in the in the demo right so very first i have got cisco uh, amp thread grid console uh, this is my cisco amp thread grid console uh, pretty uh, sorted out a dashboard with uh, details right uh, where you need to go on your detail is let's go and visit where you you should be you need to go to your account and click on my account on the top right corner and you need to look for this api uh, subsection on this particular page api key is what you need to use in case if it's not generated you may use use this here generate api key right once you have the key generated or if you already have the key generated make sure you copy it from here and then switch your gear to umbrella console now I am on my uh, on my Cisco umbrella account in my umbrella console and you need to go navigate to policies policy component and integration second last in this list you need to click on integration and let this page load this is where it will have a predefined integration named as Cisco AMP thread grid already 
in your case if you are doing this for the first time you would see this in a red color because that would be disabled by default you need to click on am thread grid here go inside paste the key and save it that will bring you to the same state enable once this is done this is only till up till till extend that it can pull the threat intelligence in order to make use of them renavigate to policies management and dns policies here on this particular page i have couple of policies there and in my this demo what i'm going to use is policy number right policy number two is specifically applicable to my roaming clients uh, i have four roaming clients where this is already applied so you need to navigate into one of this policy in my case i'm using policy number two and you need to go to this particular section which is security settings applied right so you need to click on this click on edit right here and in this particular setting you would see a subsection called as integration below and you can see here that cisco am thread grid is is highlighted in blue right that means i am already making use of it in your case how do you enable it you need to click on edit once you edit this will give you option to select or unselect these options right so there you go don't forget to save this and then click on set and return very important once you do this uh, so what do we do next what do we do next is we test this out so for testing you have got two options you can make first of all make use of policy tester over here i have one of this uh, domain picked up from that thread feed list and let's pick up one of the test user this could be this or it could be i can pick up another user called alex okay so here is the user selected if he visits this domain let's see what what is going to happen and which policy would be hit as umbrella user you should be aware of this okay and here we go it says uh, very first let's look here it says policy number two will be applied which is what we were expecting to happen it says this is blocked due to it's already part of this destination list which is populated from cisco amp thread grid integration right so let's uh, go back and look at some of the results right here uh, and before i jump to the results uh, one thing if you if you feel any of these domains are a false positive so the chances are zero if you feel so then what do you what you got to do is you you have two options one you can copy this and make sure this is part of one of the destination list and it is added to the global allow list that would be option number one with you to do make sure it's added here the second option for you would be you would visit back to the integrations re -go, uh, go back to your amp thread grid integrations and you would see the list uh, here you need to make sure that in the list you will see the c domains list here and in the domain list you have to make sure in the domain list you will have to make sure that this domain is deleted right from here okay so those would be the two options for for you and now let's jump back to the reporting so you can go to reporting and activity search right here let me make it full screen over here as part of this integration you will get two options one is integrations you can click on apply and the second one will be under security categories you can call out cisco am thread grid integrations nevertheless both the options are going to give you the same results so let me make it a uh, full screen and this is where here you go so you see uh, this is one of the endpoint where i have roaming client and you see these domains are being blocked uh, are part of destination list and block for a reason that it uh, it belongs to cisco am thread grid destination list and this is being populated as part of this integrations right so it really saves uh, 
lot of your time and you don't have to manually add this whatever samples you have submitted the curated feeds is pulled in and used for blocking right i hope you find uh, this uh, demo useful please go back talk to your management uh, get the keys get the console access and make sure you have this integration in place and you're making use of this investment right i hope you find this useful thank you